Shalom, the Lord bless you. <clears throat> I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. This particular person keeps hitting hands on their head, like keep hitting their hand on their head out of regrets on what they did to you. It's it's been a a whole place of regrets, a whole moment of regrets. It's been a a whole season of regrets. Now let me tell you something. One thing is people know how to pretend. Yeah. People know how to pretend. People know how to make you feel like they are okay, wherever or whereas they are not okay. Now, one of the things that deceive us or deceive a lot of us is social media. People know how to pose and smile and post it and make you feel like you are the last person. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. They make you feel like you are the last person. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can look at all of these things not knowing what people are going through. There are people who can show you that they are into a lot of um, prosperities in their lives. Oh, I have this, I have that. But most of them, some of them, sorry, some of them are in debts. And they will have to come and tell you they are in debts. There are people who <clears throat> are going through a lot in their relationships and in their marriages. But what they decide to do is they decide to post as good couple. So when you see people posting as good couple, some of these people posting as good couple, some of them want to show us that they are doing fine, that they are doing okay. And of course, that is what they should show us. What did you expect? <laughs> what did you really expect? Were you expecting that somebody comes and is crying to you all the time? No. It's social media. We show you what we want you to see. People show you what they want you to see. And that's one thing you must record in your heart. No matter what, you also show people what you want them to see. When you're taking a picture and you're smiling, you're wanting to make them understand you're okay. Or even when you're posting a picture, there is always a message you're passing across. <clears throat> there is always a message you're passing across. So regardless and no matter what, this is one thing you must understand. So somebody treated you so poorly, somebody treated you so bad. But if you look at them, there is nothing that is even showing on them like they are regretting, they are not okay. But in the real sense and in the real life, they are really not okay. <sighs> they are really, really not okay. They are not doing well. They are not, honey. They are really down. A lot is going down for them. They are really, really down and they are really not okay. But all what they're trying to do right now is they're trying to show you, oh, we're fine, oh, this is going good, oh, that is doing that and all that. This is going to happen. They are going to contact you to talk to you because it's going to get to a stage where they will not be able to take it anymore. So when it gets to that stage where they will not be able to take it anymore, they are going to contact you. <clears throat> they are going to contact you to talk to you. They are going to contact you to, to apologize. They're going to contact you to say, okay, we haven't spoken about this that I did to you. We haven't had any closure about this. There is nothing that was thought about this. Please, I really want to talk to you about this. I'm sorry. I really want to do this. I really want to make amends and all that. They're going to come back to you, contacting you, and wanting to talk to you and wanting to sort out things with you. Yeah. They might seem like nothing is happening right now. And you are the person that is heartbroken. You are the person that is going down in your heart and your mind. But wait for it. Okay? Wait for it. You see it manifest, and it's going to be surprising to you. It's going to be surprising to you, but you will know that God intervenes in people's cases, and 
He will reveal what concerns you and he will make sure that what he's revealing that concerns you comes to pass. But I'm praying that let the Lord heal your heart. Let the Lord give you peace in your heart. <sighs> let God heal your heart. Let God give you peace in your heart. In the name of Jesus, amen. I take peace very serious. It's better you're peaceful and don't have money. Then you have money and you are not peaceful. No matter what you do with the money, if peace is not there, it's not there. You will just be bored. Everything is just going to be normal. All right? I know that God will do it for you and in your life in the mighty name <clears throat> of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. If I'm talking about you, you've been treated that poorly. Put your head and your heart and say, Lord, I receive peace. I receive peace. I receive peace. I receive peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, if these have been of great help and blessings to you, I want to beg on you to please pray for me. <clears throat> As the Spirit of the Lord will lead you, please kindly pray for me. Please don't stop praying for me. Always keep praying for me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to share the video. And also do not forget to subscribe. Now, <laughs> I want to ask you this particular question. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you really waiting for? Please, I beg you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please always subscribe if you're a new person. Kindly subscribe to this amazing channel. Oh, and if you just subscribe, I love you already. You are welcome to this amazing family. I love you already. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And one thing I've learned is what blesses you, always learn to share it. I say it again. What blesses you, always learn to share it. If you're blessed by this word, make it a habit to share. I see some people who share my word. I'm always very happy. God bless you. I'm praying for you. God bless you. Sacrifice your heart, your obedience in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. That is the peace I'm talking about. The peace of nothing missing. Nothing broken. The shalom peace of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly. And God bless you abundantly. And by the special grace of God. I'll see you in our next prayer session and prophetic word release. I love you. Shalom.